Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In the last video, we introduced the empirical rule. Now we're going to look at some examples of how to use it. So here's our setup. 2,000 freshmen at State University took a biology test. The scores were distributed normally with a mean of 70 and a standard deviation of 5. Using that information, approximately what percentage of scores are between 65 and 75? So we've got a big clue here, seeing the terms distributed normally tells us that we're able to use the empirical rule. We were also told our mean or our X bar and our standard deviation or our S. So that allows us to fill in our bell shaped curve. So we know that right smack in the middle goes our mean. So we go 70 here. And then each little mark is going to represent a distance of one standard deviation. So if I fill above first, my mean of 70 plus one standard deviation of 5 takes me to 75. Moving over one more standard deviation, 75 plus 5 moves me to 80. And then I'm going to go to 3 above, one more takes me to 85. I'm going to use the same process, but go now in reverse. So subtracting one standard deviation, or in this case, subtracting five, takes me to 65. Subtracting one standard deviation takes me down to 60. And then finally, three standard deviations below takes me down to 55. So using this, approximately what percentage of scores are between 65 and 75? So between 65 and 75 puts us in this region right here, and the empirical rule states that between one standard deviation below and one standard deviation above, we'll find 68% of our data. So the answer to our question here of what percentage of scores are between 65 and 75 is 68%. All right, using that same setup, let's see if we can answer approximately what percentage of scores are between 60 and 85. So 60 to 85, here's 60. 85 is way up here at the top, so that puts us finding this percentage. So just based on how much I am scoring or shading, I can tell it's gonna be a pretty large percentage. But let's think about the empirical rule. The empirical rule says that from two standard deviations below to two standard deviations above, I can find 95% of my data. And from three below to three above, I can find 99.7% of my data. So most of what I've shaded represents the 95%, but we still have this little piece here to account for, which is between two and three standard deviations. So I can figure out how much that represents by realizing that it would be half of the difference between 99.7 and 95%. So taking the difference between 99.7 and 95, which gives me 4.7, and then realizing I only have half of that, since the other half is over here, if I divide that by two, that tells me that there's 2.35% living right there. So I have my 95% from 60 to 80, plus this additional 2.35% that is between 80 and 85, so in total, between 60 and 85, I have 95 plus 2.35 or 97.35%. All right, one more about State University. Approximately what percentage of scores are above 80? So above 80, if we shaded that on our picture, that would be right here. And remember, one of the things we talked about with normal curves is that they are asymptotic, meaning they don't ever actually stop. So if we think about from 60 
to 80, we have 95% of our data from two standard deviations below to two standard deviations above. Then outside of that, if we consider both sides, we would have 100% minus 95%. So 100 minus 95 is 5%, but we're only interested in half of that. Half of it lives over here below 60, and half of it lives up here above 80. So we want to take half of 5% to get 2.5% being above 80. All right, that was our first set of examples for using the empirical rule. Check back for more in the next video.